So with the release of Windows 11, Microsoft is taking the opportunity to kind of prune out things of Windows 10, features that are just not used, are not applicable to this new OS. Some of these things IT pros need to be aware of and educated before migrating users. With no tears from us, Cortana has been removed from the setup experience. We'll all be crying over that one. News and interest, which was a late addition to Windows 10, is going away in Windows 11, but it's gonna be replaced by widgets, which users love eye candy. IT is just something else that breaks, is something else we have to fix. We're not happy about this, I don't think. If you're using Windows S mode, in a corporate edition, that's going away. It'll be available in the home edition of Windows 11. It's no longer going to be an option in the corporate environment. So we all know that Windows 11 is introducing the new start menu, which means big changes are coming to your old content in the Windows 10 start menu. Named groups and folders of apps are no longer supported, and the layout is no longer currently resizable, and pinned apps and sites will not migrate. It's important to remember that users who only know how to get to a site via a, it being pinned, time to move to those browser bookmarks. So taskbar, if you've got users that put their taskbar at the top of the screen or on the side, that functionality is all going away. It's going to be at the bottom. You can move it around, but it's gonna be at the bottom. So quickly, Cortana will no longer be pinned to the taskbar. Desktop wallpaper will not roam to or from a device when signed in with a Microsoft account. IE is disabled. Microsoft Edge is the recommended replacement and includes IE mode. The math input panel is removed. If you have math inking in apps like OneNote, they're not impacted by this change. Quick status from the lock screen and associated settings are removed. So those live tiles are no longer available. For dynamic content, you're gonna have to see widgets. People is no longer present in the taskbar. Remember, some icons will no longer appear in the system tray. Timelines is going to be gone. Some similar functionality is available in Microsoft Edge. You can take a look at it if you like timelines. Touch keyboard will no longer dock or undock on screens larger than 18 inches. The wallet is removed and the following apps will not be removed on upgrade, but will no longer be installed on new devices or when you do a clean install of Windows 11. The 3D Viewer, OneNote for Windows 10, Paint 3D, and Skype. Remember, Skype is going, Windows Teams is coming. 